Social media, it's me, nurse practitioner Dr. Katina Kennedy, with some health information for you. Before I forget, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page, Nurse K Kennedy. You, you'll be able to catch up on a lot of other health videos that you missed. So go over there and subscribe to my YouTube page. But this is October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, of course, we need to be aware of any breast changes um, monthly. However, this month, we really, really encourage others to make sure that they go for their screenings and you go for your, you do your monthly breast exam. So, are you doing your monthly breast exam? You should be doing your breast self exam once a month and do it about two weeks after your period. If you don't have periods anymore because you're postmenopausal, just choose a day out of the month that you do it. You want to feel your breasts. You want to make sure you know how they feel. When you feel around, you'll definitely feel breast tissue that's normally there. But if you do your breast exam once a month, you'll know that that's normal for you. But if you never check your breasts, guess what? You'll never know what's normal or what's not. So touch your breasts, do your breast self-exam um, about one to two weeks after your period. If you do it before or during your period, sometimes our breasts are tender. Sometimes they're lumpier as well. We do get hormonal cysts that can occur, but they leave after the period is over. So everybody, men and women, because men can get breast cancer as well, First thing I want you to do, and I want you to do this with me. You go ahead, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up a little bit here. You stand up, first thing you wanna do, in the mirror, arms up, and take a look at your breasts. And make sure they're even for the most part. Of course, one breast is always, you know, un the breast is uneven, but, but you know, you wanna look for any changes. So look for the breasts, make sure they're, it's not uneven, make sure you don't see any dimpling going on in the breast, make sure you don't see any rash or skin changes. Make sure your nipples are not inverted and sometimes the nipples can be inverted if you're born that way. Um, but just make sure that it's if you've had um, extroverted nipples and all of a sudden it starts, the nipple starts to go in, then that's a change to the breast that is concerning. So hold your breasts up, look in the mirror, check for any of those things I just mentioned. And then there's a couple ways you can do your breast exam. Uh, you always want to start on the outside and go in the vertical position. You want to go light, medium, and deep. Light, medium, and deep. Again, light, medium, and deep, okay? If you have larger breasts, you pick that breast up and you go light, medium, and deep. You want to go in this upper outer quadrant here and you wanna go up and down. You wanna do that same pattern until you have covered the entire breast, okay? You can do it the vertical way, and then you can also do it in the circular motion. Circular motion, going inward towards the nipple. And make sure whichever version that you do, whichever version, you make sure you also palpate, you, you palpate, you feel, in the axilla area, under the arms, because we have lymph nodes that swell when cancer is present as well. Don't forget to squeeze the nipples afterwards. Squeeze the nipple, make sure you don't have any discharge from the nipples. Uh, some discharge may be normal in some people if they have galactorrhea, but uh, any discharge, just, be, just go to your gynecologist or your primary care provider and get it checked out because we will be able to tell what's normal and what's not. So nipple discharge, you want to squeeze the breast for that. Also, uh, caffeine. Caffeine causes lumpy breasts. It causes tender breasts as well. So if you notice that your breasts are a little bit tender and lumpier, cystic, you want to make sure you decrease your caffeine. All right, remember, ladies and gentlemen, check your breasts. I just showed you how to do it. You do it with me here. You go up and down, up, good, up, up, down, up, down. All right, remember, if you have a larger breast, you pick up that breast because you want to cover the entire breast and fill in the lymph nodes under the arms. And don't forget the other breast, same pattern. All right, so you can do vertical, or you can do the circular motion and to go towards the nipple, squeeze the nipple, make sure there's no discharge. Do this once a month, about one to two weeks after your period. Breast self-exam. You got it. 
Know your breasts, know how they feel. Don't leave it up to your partner. You do it yourself. Again, I'm Nurse Kay Kennedy, Dr. Katina Kennedy, nurse practitioner. If you want more health information, visit my YouTube page at Nurse Kay Kennedy. Talk to you soon.